Uh, this article in, time, in Fortune magazine, I'm looking for it here, but it describes staff meetings in which there is often a 30-minute silence. Yes, we have study hall at the beginning <laughs> of our meetings. Explain that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the traditional kind of corporate meeting is somebody gets up in front of the room and presents, they say, a PowerPoint right, presentation right, 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 or some right. kind of slideshow. And um, in our view, that is a very um, kind of, it, you get very little information that way. You get bullet points. It's kind of easy for the presenter, but difficult for the audience. In our view, that is a very um, kind of, it, you get very little information that way. You get bullet points. It's kind of easy for the presenter, but difficult for the audience. And so instead, what we do is all of our meetings are structured around a six-page narrative memo. And when you, when you have to write your ideas out in complete sentences yeah. and complete paragraphs, yeah. it forces a deeper clarity Except of thinking. Except you burn predicate Yes, that. exactly. Yeah, there really is something to that. <laughs> Too few people know that these days. Yes, and so, when you, and so what we do is we just sit and, you know, we, some people say, well, why don't you read the memos in advance? Well, part of the problem there is that time to read them in advance doesn't materialize out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and so this way, you know everybody has the time because we're all sitting around the table reading simultaneously. You know everybody has actually read the memo. The author, who's put a tremendous amount of work into writing the memo, gets the nice warm feeling of seeing everybody read it. So they know they're actually, it <laughs> hasn't been a waste of time. They are getting, it is yeah. getting read. It's being read. It yeah. is actually being read. Um, and there's another nice thing about this approach too. If you have a, a kind of a traditional PowerPoint presentation, sometimes executives are, are very good at interrupting. And so the person will get halfway into their presentation and then some, some, some executive will interrupt the conversation. And that question that the executive asked probably was going to be answered five slides in. Yeah. And so if you read the whole six-page memo, it, it often it, happens to me, I get to page two and I have a question that I jotted in the margin. And by the time I get to page four, the question has been answered. So I can just cross it off and it saves a lot of time. 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 It saves a lot of time.